And we're continuing your off-screen move into the world of movies, but through DVD and Blu-ray and, of course, streaming. And we've got a huge selection for you this week, all available from Monday, the 25th of May. We're going to kick off with a movie that you know we love because it's such a brilliant comeback for both Martin Lawrence and also uh, Will Smith. It is Bad Boys for Life. Loved this, didn't we? Well, I mean, we must love it, because we, we've talked about this many times now. We talked about it when it was theatrical, we talked about it when it was on digital. I think we'll talk about it again when it's on streaming, no doubt. But I really love Bad Boys for Life. I thought it was a really great sequel. Um, for my money, it was a perfect halfway point between the overblown sensibilities of the second movie and the more comedic, concept-driven elements of the first one. I think it had a lot more of the humour of the first one that I, I, I relied on. Very, very back, funny. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. And also, there's already been talks about doing another follow-up as well. So, you know, know there is, obviously uh... done something right. And don't forget, of course, there's a spin-off uh, TV series that's now entering its second series as well, LA's Finest, in which Gabrielle Union's character goes off on her own adventures in LA and has a, a, a cantankerous partner of her own, played by Jessica Alba. And of course, the big thing that ties those uh, together, as far as the law goes, is that you get Ernie Hudson as uh, as Grandpa Burnett. Yeah, sorry, Great Grandpa Burnett, of course, now now that uh, Bad Boys for Life has, has come out. Weirdly, he looks younger than Martin Lawrence now, but, uh, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll get over that. We'll get over that one right now next on our list is a film that you were not so sure about i remember this and i actually didn't (laughs) see it as a result so it's just mercy you said something like it's like a 90s afternoon sunday afternoon movie that's what you didn't like no i believe us i didn't say i think actually i said was it was an an afternoon made for tv movie that happens to be set in the 90s but you wouldn't notice that unless you were paying attention and it's the standard to kill a mockingbird tale based on a true story you know fair enough uh stars michael b jordan stars uh brie larson stars jamie fox is written and directed by daniel destin cretton who's uh doing uh shang chi and the legend of the ten rings for marvel now which terrifies me because this is not a good movie his last movie i forget which one that was wasn't very good I like Short Term 12. That was fine. That was pretty good. Um, this, less so. But you know what? It's hitting all of those requisite boilerplate awards movie trailer markers. Have a listen. It is ordered, adjudged, and decreed that Walter McMillan is to face death by electrocution. This is my dad, sir. Sit down, young man, John. I want you to sit down now. He did nothing wrong. Please, Judge, hold on one second. I won't say it again. Sit down. Not if you're going to kill my dad for no reason. You killing my family, sir, you! You know what I mean? It's a movie yeah. of monologues and speeches. It is one of those. I, I didn't really go for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. tele, very televisual. This this feels like a made-for-streaming movie, definitely. Fair enough. Well, it might float your boat or it might not, as if your name is Van Connor. So, um, moving <laughs> very quickly on to something that launched in the cinemas at Christmas time, was a big hit in awards season. Um, it's reignited a wonderful story. It is, of course, Little Women for the new generation. Um, this, for me, I really enjoyed it i was a massive fan of the original kind of susan Sar- not the original but the susan sarandon the winona Ryder version the christian bale version that i absolutely loved but i really liked the spin that this movie mm. has on it and it, it features a lot of flashbacks and good performances from saoirse ronan um emma emma from harry potter because i can't remember her name right now but you know who i'm talking about <laughs> emma, watson. emma watson that's the one i just emma this, from harry potter i just had emma thompson in my head and i have no idea idea how to get rid of that but you know who i mean <laughs> um yeah it's a good old film and it's uh it's one for the girls i think little women as you can yeah. imagine <laughs> i think it'll fly off the shelves on dvd yeah. i think this will actually be quite it's a high cheaper. seller i mean also i mean one that i'm not as confident about on dvd is uh vivarium which has been released this week oh. this was uh, put out on digital quite early during lockdown as of course the story of uh, a couple played by imogen poots and, and jesse eisenberg i was say aaron eisenberg uh jesse eisenberg who uh move into a uh, well find themselves forced to move into a mysterious house in the suburbs from which they cannot escape. It is Black Mirror-style mayhem. It is Twilight Zone-level chicanery. Tell you what, here's a sampling. Yonder is a wonderful development. Both tranquil and practical, it has all you'd need and all you'd want. And as for the prices, it's no wonder these houses are getting snapped up. (laughs) I know what you guys are thinking suburbia but there's more to yonder than what you see in these images we've lovely people all sorts of people ready to move in 
It's going to be a diverse community. Something different, a nice blend. Where's it located? Near enough. And far enough. Just the right distance. It's a little creepy. And also, I can't again, think about it again. I just, it, it would have been funnier before lockdown. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Watching this during lockdown was a bit. It's too that close was, that to was the very trying. <laughs> it's, mm, um, yeah. it's an interesting watch. It's one that I think if you, if you find Black Mirror more disturbing than entertaining, you definitely <laughs> don't want to endure over an hour and a half of this. And of course, uh, disturbing and entertaining is the watchword for our last film. And I'm very, very happy to say that this has finally gotten a UK DVD release. And it is, of course, Bong Joon Ho's 2013 sci fi dystopian epic. It is Snowpiercer. The timing of this is based entirely on the fact that Parasite did very well. It had been buried under the, uh, the Harvey Weinstein rubble. He had had you know, the act out for this film for a long time. And uh, of course, the TV series, the TV adaptation, starts on Netflix. This next week, uh, I've seen the first episode. I can tell you it is worth watching. It does do something different, and it does sit halfway between the book and the film adaptation in terms of what to expect. Uh, the film is incredible. All-star cast, Chris Evans, John Hurt, Matilda Swint, and Jamie Bell. Uh, a couple that I won't tell you for spoiler reasons. Phenomenal film. Uh, absolutely check this out. And if you can check it out ahead of seeing the TV series and you want to see a different interpretation that's all done in one big go definitely check this movie out. It's one of my favourite films of all time. I think it's the best film of the last decade. Uh, absolutely see Snowpiercer. Well, I might go and watch it after that recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, I'm not sure if we'll ever get through an off-screen without you mentioning it in some way, shape or form. Do I mention Snowpiercer a lot? I've a never lot, noticed. A lot, yeah, funnily enough. But, um, I've, never, I've never mentioned that it's a bit good. Yeah, maybe, just a bit. I'm st- I still haven't seen it because I don't believe anything that Dan <laughs> says, really. Um, <laughs> but you lot can prove me wrong. Well, that is a quite a list for DVD and Blu-ray.